What's up, guys? The Hackspot here. And do y'all remember the GameCube? It was this revolutionary console, which was a small cube. It had a handle on the back, so you could take it anywhere. And it basically changed my childhood and really impacted it. Oh, boy. Did I enjoy this thing? Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play GameCube anywhere you go on your Android device. Basically, take your childhood anywhere that you go. All right, guys. So, the GameCube was really the epitome of my childhood. And it really is pretty cool that you could play on your Android device. It blows my mind that I could take that entire console on this very thin device, which I could do so much more on. Oh my gosh, go ahead and take a little trip down. So first we got Super Smash Bros. Melee, the game that I played the most. This game was amazing. And so was Zelda Wind Waker. Oh my gosh, I beat this game like four times. And remember you had to get a little card for saving your data. Otherwise, you just have to restart the entire game. You had to have that. Oh my gosh, Zelda Twilight Princess. This was a great addition. And I remember I didn't have a Wii, so I played on the GameCube. And so many more. Need for Speed. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, just a note. Of course, you might need a powerful device to be able to play full-fledged GameCube games on your Android device. So you need a good GPU and some good RAM, stuff like that. But yeah, point is, don't expect this thing to run on this if it's not powerful enough. I mean, it might still work, but it might be a bit laggy. I'll be testing on multiple devices. But yeah, guys, thanks to APK Lebon for bringing this to my attention. All right, and off we go. So this is very simple to do. Don't worry. The first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser on your device and head over to this website. That the link to will be down below inside the description. Anyways, what you want to do is scroll down and you guys will see the latest version right there of Dolphin Emulator. And you want to go ahead and download it for Android. So tap on the Android download button and it will go ahead and get started as soon as you save it. So I'm going to save it and you guys will see that it is up over here. It's going to start soon. There it is. And let's go to wait. Almost done. Boom. Just like that, you are good to go. Go ahead and tap on it. And over here at the bottom right, tap on install. And it'll start installing right there very simply. There we go, app installed. So now let's go ahead and tap on open to open up Dolphin Emulator. And this will pop up right here to simply go ahead and tap on allow. Now that's the entire emulator. In the future, I will be showing you guys how to run Wii games too. Yeah, that is right. You can also play Wii games on your Android device. So pretty epic. Anyways, we're going to be testing that in a later video. Let's do GameCube for now. All right, so now that we have Dolphin Emulator, what do you need next? Of course, games. So let's go to open up our internet browser again. Again, this link will be down below inside the description. And here are all the games that you guys could download. Of course, you could download a bunch more. But here are just some of the most popular ones. You're going to search for any game that you want. So you guys can see over here, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and so, so many more over here. You guys can see you got every single GameCube game out there. Twilight Princess, Mario Party 7. You can play all of these on your Android device. You can hit browse all Nintendo game ISOs if the game you're looking for is not over here. And anyways, I'm going to go ahead and download, let's say, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. So anyways, it's going to tap on that. And once you do, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you find the orange download links. So I got some screenshots and they got some advertisements. Just keep scrolling down and there is a download link. Now next to it says how big the file is. So of course, make sure they have enough space. This is 1.1 gigs. And anyways, once you tap on download, you want to scroll down again and look for that same download link. And there it is right there. Now let's go to tap on it. The file will start downloading after you hit save. Now this part will take some time because it is like a one gig file, one gigabyte. So yeah, hit save. I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to go back over here. And now what you want to do is open up the Play Store. And inside the Play Store, you want to go to search for 7-Zipper. So there it is. It's a free application. It's going to install your device. And once you have it, open it up. And here we are. Now simply go to the downloads. So go to download where you have the file. And there it is. Now if the game does not show up for you over here, what you want to do is simply go back over here where the game is downloading. Tap on it and it will open up inside this application. Anyways, I'm just going to go and tap on it from here because it does show up for me. I'm going to go and tap on this zip file. And all you want to do is tap on OK. Now, all you got to do is wait. So this part will take a little bit of time. I'll be right back. All right, so there you have it. It is now at 100%. So now it is safe to hit close. And you are done with that part. So now it's going to exit out of here. And what you want to do is open up Dolphin Emulator again. And we are basically done. If you want more games, install them the same exact way. And anyways, now over here, you guys see again, we are on GameCube. Going to tap right there. And now going to tap on the plus icon in the bottom right. And over here, we can head over to that folder. So again, just tap on downloaded where you have the game game and it doesn't show up right here for some reason but just hit okay 
And there you go. Now your game will automatically pop up. Now, if it doesn't pop up for you, that means it did save somewhere else. So what you want to do is go back to 7-Zipper. And you guys want to see where the file was Put. So again, if we go back to that same file, once we go over here, you guys can see the directory. So this one is stored in storage, emulated zero, so and download. So that's where my file is, and that's what I the folder I clicked on. If it's not the same for you, if the file is stored somewhere else, go there. Anyways, you can also check by going to the uh, My Files application or any file manager that you have and go in and search for Zelda up here or whatever game that you downloaded and it will show you guys where it's saved. So you guys can see exactly where it is that way and put in that folder. So anyways, I'm going to go back to Dolphin Emulator and show you guys that. So if I go back over here, you guys can see I can tap on the plus icon and basically navigate the entire file system over here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, guys, now we have the game right here. I'm gonna simply going to tap on it. I'm gonna show you guys how to configure the controls too, which I figured out how to do on the Galaxy S9 with the curved edge and any other similar device. And now it's gonna play. So I'm just gonna tap on it. You guys see my controls all bunched up right there. So I'm gonna be showing you guys to fix this. Let's go ahead and wait for it to start up real quick though. Oh man, so here it is. It's starting up the full game. You guys see it loads perfectly on the Galaxy S9 because it is a pretty powerful device. There's a small hiccup right there, but look at this. It's still running perfectly smooth. Wow. That is awesome. So you can always play in landscape mode like this. And so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to configure the controls, especially on this device. So on most devices, you do have to swipe down. All right, now for the Galaxy S9 and basically any other edge device, what you wanna do is swipe from the right to the left like this. And you guys will see this pop up. Anyways, well, you guys wanna just go ahead and tap right here. And you guys heard you wanna go ahead and tap on the menu that will appear. So there's a menu, tap on the three dots. And you guys will see this right here. Now stay at this menu, put your phone sideways and now tap on configure controls so configure controls and over here tap on edit layout so once you do that now you can go ahead and move all the controls around so i'm going to move them to exactly how they are on the gamecube i'm going to first separate them you guys see all the controls so i believe z goes right there so i'll be right back once i finish setting this up all right so there you go pretty close right so you got all the buttons matched up i except for i put my start button on the very left because i like it there more and yeah you guys see the layout is the same that i made it anyways i'm gonna hit done now anyways for other devices where you don't swipe from the right you do want to go ahead and simply swipe from the top so you guys see over here you guys want to swipe from the top and then you guys will see this so again tap on the three dots and do the same thing configure controls edit controls all right so there you go guys check it out on my android device holy crap so I love playing landscape. Of course, you can configure the controls in portrait mode too, but I like landscape mode a lot better. Anyways, all the controls do work, so I'm gonna hit A. Look at that, it's so fluid on the Galaxy S9, I love it. So of course, the Galaxy S9 is powerful, it can handle it perfectly fine. I believe so can the Galaxy S8 and S7. And anyways, let's go ahead and create a uh, account real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go down to end. Holy crap, it runs so smooth. So you got all the controls perfectly set up. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, in the meantime, let's go ahead and see how it runs on this phone. It doesn't have any like powerful internals, but let's go to open up Dolphin Emulator and see how it runs on this phone. So I have done the same game, went through all the steps again on this phone for you guys, and let's see how it runs. So uh, you can just tell from the way it like loads up the animations, if it's gonna run good or not. So, so far, so good. I'm actually surprised. This is a very kind of weak phone. It's like a budget phone. And let's see. Okay, so we got a black sky. Uh, it's making a bunch of like chattery sounds. And it's not very smooth. We got the boat finally come in. Uh, the red dragon. And looks like it doesn't really run well on the phone. It doesn't have a good GPU. You need a good GPU. Look, the sky is still black. Holy crap. So it doesn't really work well on this phone. Let's go to try another old phone. Oh my god, see that? Alright, so it doesn't really work good on this phone. You need a more powerful phone than that. Alright, so that was a U-M-D-I-G-I -I crystal. I don't know how to pronounce the name. But anyways, now here we have the Galaxy Note 5. So again, pretty old phone. I got a bunch of stuff running on it, so I don't think it's going to run that good. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so it runs better on this device than the other one. I'm going to turn up the volume. And you guys can see it's kind of messed up. The animations look good, but 
they're not super fluid. Same with the music. So again, it's not really playable on this device, which kind of sucks, but all right. So there you have it. Again, here we're back on the S9. It has finished that part. So it's going to hit A. Let's go through this. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play this anywhere on the go. Any game on the GameCube on your mobile device. This is epic. No, no, no I don't want to talk to you. All right, so there we are. You guys can see that. You can press the L button to fix the camera again. And look at this, guys. Holy crap, I'm playing this on my Galaxy. So I can just go in and... How do I jump down again? Is it A? Yep, it's A. And I didn't hurt myself, luckily. It's gonna jump in the ocean. Wow. So it's kind of weird playing on the Galaxy. You gotta get used to it a little bit, but it does work super, super well. This is super playable. I'm surprised. Wow. No way. This can't be real. Let's go ahead and uh, go to Beetle's shop real quick. So, oh, he's not there. Oh, he is there. Okay, let's go and go to him real quick. All right, let's go. I kind of mess with controls. Kind of hard to play behind a camera. Wow, this is. I can't believe this works so well. Bye. All right, let's go out of here real quick to Grandma's house. All right, this is just so cool. I just want to keep playing. No way. Yep. Alright, so this is awesome. I am addicted. So anyways, once you go ahead and put new games in that same folder, unzip it and all that good stuff, you do want to go ahead and tap on the plus again and go to that same folder. Otherwise, it will not refresh and your new games will not show up. So after I did that, now they do appear. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tap on Melee first. And let's go ahead and load this up. Oh my gosh, I cannot cannot believe this. I'm playing my favorite game, this map over here. Oh my god, there's so many maps that I forgot about. Alright, so it stuttered a little bit right there, but now we're running perfectly fine. Oh shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Alright, let me go ahead and shoot an arrow at him. I think it was B, yeah. Put out a bomb. Let's go ahead and just use our up B. Oh my god, that is sick. Now, last game, Mario Kart Double Dash. I just want to show you guys how fluid this is. Fun fact, I never actually played this game, so it's going to be my first time playing Double Dash. I played all the other Mario Karts, but for some reason, I never played the one on the GameCube. So, I think it's right trigger. What was it to go? Alright. Oh my god. No way. Dude, the developers of Dolphin, thank you so much. This is amazing. Being able to play this anywhere you go. Yo. All right, guys. So there you have it. How to play GameCube games on your Android device that you take anywhere. These GameCube games, oh my God, AAA games. Enjoy this, guys. And anyway, stay tuned for a video in the future on how to play Wii games on this too. Holy crap, I'm excited to see how it runs on this device. But yeah, guys, enjoy this. Peace out.